It's so cannabis gaming. Just uh, let me bring you a playthrough video. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I was doing this account, and we had gotten to here. Chapter 10, Curse Water, was actually a month or two ago. I haven't done any more campaigning to further this, uh, but I built up, so now we're going to see how far we can get. And I kind of changed up my team, kind of leaning towards a Kark team now instead of a Yasmin team. Um, but... I think what I'm going to do for now is just go straight up with the strongest team. Which would be this one. I'm kind of liking the Kark teams. Uh, I may do away with Yasmin and just bring in um, Kai for now. And maybe transfer later to uh, Jorgen and Martha and get rid of Celeste. And yeah, Esmond. So it'll be Astroth, Kark, Faceless, Jurgen, and Martha. Uh, Martha and Jurgen have a, a synergy, and Faceless and Kark have a synergy, and Astroth is just an all around great tank. So that's probably what I'll go with. Anyway, let's see how far we can get. I've been uh, waiting to do this for some time. Hopefully the sound's coming through okay. I might have to change it. I should be getting through this quite easily for uh, a couple of chapters actually. This boss is kind of tough at the end, but we'll see uh, how we fare up. So we already got three star on that one. Let's see if we can get three star on all these. But three star or not, as long as I can get through, I'm just going to power through as many levels and chapters as I can. See how many gems I can get. Should probably take a quick look to see what I've got now before we go forward. I mean, Kark just destroys. I love the teams. That was fairly easy. So we're right now. I've got 21 gems. You know, there's there's not a lot of gems there. Uh, so we'll see what kind of gem loot we get by the end of this. I'm hoping to get you know over a thousand gems out of this. And you get gems every time you do a mission campaign. If my sound gets a little crackly, it's because my headset's kind of buggered. Apologize for that. I'm working on getting a new headset, new keyboard and mouse, and uh, hopefully get uh, a camera. I want to do some real actual live streaming with a uh, camera, get my face on there. So you can see my ugly mug. This here is a mission one. Well, just destroys and Yasmin is kind of a good, you know, offset to this team. You don't see a lot of Yasmins in with a Kark team, but it really has been working well for me as for as far as for transitioning my team over. So every one of these is a, you know, the three star with the little guy above it. Um, they're. Uh, their missions and they're the ones that are going to open the chest as long as you've got the three star all the way through uh, we'll go through and we'll open up some chests later see what kind of loot we get I mean generally it's going to give you ten of the previous missions uh, soul stones the hero soul stones and then a bunch of other loot So yeah, when I do this one, I get I get three star. I'm gonna get um, ten peppies in this one. I mean, I'll show you right now. 
so there it is 10 peppies and you get a bunch of other loot and some gold which is awesome gold's always great um, but once you get your titans to absolute star gold's not really an issue anymore so you can exchange the uh the soul stones for points and then those points can be used to get level up items for titans or gold and other things well, they're taking a little bit of damage my team but they're still kind of just ripping through this which is great oh I don't have any more <laughs> Oh, that's not good. I don't have enough. Okay. Well, I guess we're stopping here for now. But I'll, I'll show you what I mean about the, uh, the soul stones. Once you get Titans to Absolute Star, and I've got a few, you know, and you, uh, you use these. I have none left to show you, but I'll do a video on this later show you how it all works but you get points you exchange the soul stones for points and you get these these coins and you can exchange them for sparks of powder power or gold or titan potions uh, titan potions is what i normally get just to level up your titans you know i'll, I'll save up and get three thousand of these but it doesn't matter you can get 300 and by 10 you still get the same amount regardless of which one you get and it's the same with the gold you get the same amount so if you spend 500 gold you get a million if you spend 100 gold five times you get a million and same with this um, so it, it's even doesn't matter which one you grab if you're really desperate you grab the lower ones you know just to do a quick bump up before guild wars or something else you know it's always good but uh yeah that's uh it's a great way to get gold so if you can uh, evolve your titans uh, save up the gold as much gold as you can don't spend it on your heroes and get that evolve done like I've got uh, I've got no none on this guy but I do on another one on one of my lower accounts and I've been saving gold for three days just so I can get it that 2.5 million it takes to get from five star to absolute and once i do that uh, you know it's it's hard not to spend the gold but if you save it up and spend it to get your evolve then you're uh, you're going to get a lot more gold after that it's a lot easier anyway that's it uh we'll do some more I'll uh, I'll put up a, a video again. See, so I get for that I got 84, 84 gems right there. I mean, hey, you know what? Let's let's use that to get some more. So we'll go here, start. No, let's go through it. Let's go. We'll see. We may, maybe we can power our way through just using gems. little stuffy it's cold season out hopefully I don't have COVID don't think I do I've been pretty safe make sure you all stay safe out there wear your masks uh, the antivirus is not a guarantee and from what I'm seeing it's it's not very effective a lot of people are still getting it the new variant is uh, kind of resistant to it so uh, be safe Wear your mask. Keep your social distancing. Stay away from large crowds. Hopefully, uh, the world will get a hold of this and the outbreaks will be gone, few and far between. Let me get back to normal. Till then, game on. Yeah, I love in this team.
as long as I can keep Yasmin alive for these fights, they usually go pretty fast because Yasmin's quite strong, does a lot of damage. Nice, starting to get some Helios. Here we go, get into uh, chapter 11. Let's power through this one. Oh, let's go back. We're going to go back and we're going to get our gems. So you get gems for completing the last mission, plus gems for completing the chapter as well. So that's awesome. And special event on right now. What are we getting out of here? Not much. Not much. Okay. Let's open this chest up. And we'll get 10 of the uh, previous soul stones. Ginger. It's, it's always 10 of the one before. So if you're looking for stole so or soul stones, that's the way to go about it. Your first mission. And also if you complete those three star missions uh, three times, you get more gems. I believe there's quests for each of those. Unless things have changed. I haven't really powered through a campaign like this for a while. My lower account uh, is almost caught up to this one. It's actually past it in, in the chapters. He's in uh, this chapter. Right about here. My lower account. I powered right through from chapter 9 up to there in one sitting. I should have put that on here. And that's the straight up cart team. It's not a defensive cart team, it's an offensive one. It's got Kark, Faceless, Kai, and Celeste in Astaroth. So basically all of these just replace Yasmin with Kai very strong team has a little trouble with the defensive car teams with Martha and, and Jorgen in there instead but uh, depending on the power level and how they build you know you can kind of rip through them if you if you uh, if you're built right now you gotta notice if you're getting into higher guilds and you're still learning uh, you want to counter a Kark team you need to have either an Anvari or um, a Satori team I'm thinking about leveling Anvari just to to add to this team I'd put it in place of Yasmin because uh, Kark generally will take out Yasmin pretty easy Getting a bit of a rough throat, so I'm just going to power through this without uh, talking. Hope you enjoy.
it's quite the difference in speed as you see this is normal gameplay I think I mean as for normal I don't think it's normal at all I think it is slowed down to the point where they they make you want to buy Valkyrie and pay this game is very 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 real money oriented um, people get frustrated to the point where they quit uh, they actually cause a lot of drama in the guild sometimes um, because other people advance because they're using real money and they're not advancing and it becomes a, a normal things for the higher guilds to almost force you to buy in order to stay in the guild uh, I'm not like that this is my guild I don't care if you pay or not uh, I just care that people remain active and no drama in the guild. Uh, we just had to remove some players because of drama. And uh, now things are settling down and, and the guild's really actually stepping up. Um, but yeah, be careful with that. I mean, it's a long-term game very you know it's it's doable without paying a, a penny into the game it just takes a very long time so don't expect to jump in this game and be really high power right off the bat it's not going to happen unless you pay 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 and i mean pay a lot um hundreds of dollars a week uh, we got a guy in the guild he's got 400k titans and a ton of uh, teams that are over 300k power and the server's only been open for five months and that is not doable without paying uh, people that don't pay generally you're going to be right now around 150k titan power and you know maybe a 200 250k t uh, hero team uh, I do pay for Valkyrie and I pay for the astral events uh, the what do you call them the seasons pass uh, you get one at level 40 and it goes for 30 days and then you get one at level 60 and that goes for 30 days and you can't start the second one until the first one's done but you don't lose any time it just begins when you hit level 60 or when you finish the other one but you know I don't mind supporting a game if I like it so I do pay for the the Valkyrie which as you can see it speeds up the fights quite quite well um, I do wish that they would you know add speed to let's just go back to regular speed you can see the difference it is so slow I wish they would add a little bit of speed to this um, almost double it I think the speed up is like a four times speed so there's no there's no real point in this other than to frustrate you and try to make you pay but very easy to turn this on and Go make yourself a cup of tea or coffee or have some juice, you know, get some water. Step outside for a minute, get some fresh air. Let the fight go. But as I said, I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind spending a few bucks for the Valkyrie. It's only two dollars, really. So it's it's not a lot. It's two dollars a week, uh, not just two dollars permanent, but two dollars a week. And uh, 
you get you get speed your attack speeds and stuff and you get a few extra little things so it's uh it's not too bad and you're supporting the game and you're not breaking the bank doing so these guys here these um uh, I don't know what you call these guys, these little faces, these ice faces. That ice breath is really tough to get by in some of these. Uh, it slows you, it freezes, I think. Um, I had a real hard time getting through on my first account with just a Yasmin team. It would always kill Yasmin and once Yasmin's down in a Yasmin team, you're kind of just you're stuck you're not going to get very far plus you're not going to get your three star right everybody wants that three star get the extra stuff then you can raid it afterwards that's another thing with the valkyrie you, you once you buy it uh, you get your raid and you get your you know if you've uh, if you paid for the astral events and stuff you get your VIP up and you can just raid things makes it a lot easier once you got the three star I run uh, three different accounts, but on these accounts, I've gotten into a routine where I can get all the dailies, my towers, my dungeons, my Titan team tournament fights done, pretty much everything done in, in, in an hour on all three accounts, so about 15, 20 minutes per account. I'm not sure, this might be the fight here. Maybe it was a previous one. It's always, it was always the second one. I couldn't get past it. This one coming up. No, nope, this ain't it. Must have been in a different chapter. But there was two of those ice things there. And it was impossible to get them. On my Yasmin team. I had to level it up for a long time. And since the last video, this has been, it's been a month or two, probably over a month, well over a month, at least two months, I think. All right, we got some chests open. Let's, let's bang these open. See what we get. Lots of good loot. I'd really like to get some of those uh, rings. These are handy. Uh, these are good. These are good. I'm not getting the rings I want. It's not this one, but I do need them. It's, uh, I'll show you here. I see you can see the amount of gems you get for completing these it's just insane amounts like I'm already at 650 I've spent a hundred on energy looks like I'm gonna have to spend some more um, where is it? Kyle have it. So if you go in here to create this, it's these rings, the pastor seal. It takes so long to get these and you rarely see them in the shop. The only time you see them in the shop is in the, the soul stone area. So if you go through and you're looking for them, you can't find them, you can't find them. 
chances are they're going to be in the soul stone area which is here the soul shop and there it is yeah it is it, always here this is another money grab that one item is hard to get and it's constantly in that one shop uh, but be patient and just uh, what I do is I'll go back and I'll show you uh, I will go here I'll go in and what I'll do is I'll go to here and click on the plus and I'll go to this one North Crohn's land and I will just rate it 10, 10 at a time and it's not gonna get sometimes it gives you one sometimes it gives you two but the odd time it'll give you three and four at a time maybe five and i found that that's the most efficient one to farm from if anybody has a more efficient uh, chapter to farm from let me know in the comments this will be on my youtube right now it's on my twitch uh, but i will be putting it on youtube so yeah throw a comment down below and let me know see now it's starting to get more expensive so now i've spent 200 gems to further myself in the chapters and i think this will be my last my last payment i may level up that'll give me an extra couple hundred and something energy if that happens then we'll continue on further but it gets more and more expensive as you go up in these chapters to to uh in energy it just you spend a lot more energy doing these especially the boss fights the missions and when you first start out i think the missions are the regular ones are like i think six energy and then the missions are eight and it, it just becomes more and more like to do this uh, there's the energy required is 20 and it gets it's more expensive so the regular ones here are 10 so the missions are double and it, it eats up your energy quite quickly but they do give you a lot of free stuff if you're wondering how to get the free stuff hero wars has a community page uh, you can access it through their news on disc on their discord we do have a discord if you look up o cannabis uh, on o cannabis gaming on discord you'll find us the links usually below in my youtube so you can click on that and if that's no longer working uh, keep trying different videos i will upgrade it from time to time so with the current one i wish discord's permanent uh, links would be permanent but they're really not so it's hard to keep a permanent link on discord for invites uh, and i've i've gone into their settings and actually set it up so that it's supposed to be permanent and it never is it, it, it expires i don't know if that's a bug or a glitch or maybe they do it on purpose I want to keep you active and diligent another controlling feature of another program and that's the norm these days it's, uh, it's all about control and keeping you clicking those buttons the more you click those buttons the more money they get it's uh, ad revenue Now these guys are are going to start getting more and more defense as you go up in the chapters uh, to the point where you won't die you just won't be able to take them out you won't be able to kill them the back line seems to be a lot easier to kill once you get to it uh, but they become more and more defensive in the front line
And see this this one here, the Valkyrie with the shield and the spear. They're very defensive. There's two in this one. This is the final one. And these are going down quite quickly. As I said, it's been a it's been a couple of months since I actually did the first run through and got to chapter nine or whatever it was I was in or ten. I'll just keep going until I get to as far as I can. And then we'll open some boxes up. But uh, my team's become quite a bit more powerful. I think when I did the first one, I was maybe 120k, and I'm double that now. My main account's just about 300k. Probably is. I think I'm going to crack 300k today on it. And my uh, Titan teams are hitting 200k. So I'm a little more advanced than somebody playing free. Uh, a lot of my free players are just topping 100,000 on their Titans and 200,000 on their hero teams. Um, but there's other free players that are, you know, over 150k on their Titans. But they play a lot. They're on every day, do every quest, and completely have nothing left to do by the time they log off. Very, very loyal players to the game, for sure. But not everybody can do that. See that thing's blowing there? That ice face, I don't know what they're called. But if you don't have enough power, trying to get through here is very difficult. Especially the bosses, like you get to these bosses and, and they're really hard to get through. I think chapter 8 took me a good month the first run through on, on this on my first account at least a month to get past them and get a 3 star I believe that was a dragon guy I'll go back and take a look Uh, I believe it was chapter 8 yeah this guy here horrible it's terrible to get through and then this one as well when you're lower level chapter 6 but chapter 8 was was really a kick in the butt this one too this guy here Kraken's Cave hard to get through if you don't have the power I want to run through this one again No, I don't I don't have enough we're gonna see if we can do another one up here I wanted to see there's 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 one fight and it has two of those ice faces and it was oh it was terrible I couldn't get through it for the life of me it took me forever and that was with my Yasmin team and it was pretty strong at the time like this there's the two faces maybe this is the fight But I don't think it was. I know it was pretty close to the boss, I'm sure. Like one or two. One or two nodes away from the boss. Like in here somewhere. Maybe it was this uh, chapter. I don't think I have enough to go through this one. Nope. Um, maybe we can level it. No, we don't have enough. Uh, how much gems do I have? 744. I've had 21 to start with. So that's 723. 823, 923 is what I've gotten so far for gems. Just out of doing those. So you get quite a few gems. And 
I mean, what is it? It's probably another hundred. Let's see if we can get through this chapter. Yeah, another hundred gems. Just keeps going up and up. I don't know if they stop your attempts at some point of buying them. Buying extra energy. I don't, they don't want you to be able to just power through everything all in one day. Because a lot of people, they, they spend thousands of dollars a week in the gold. In the gold league. They're, we're in silver right now. And the gold league, they're just so huge. They're massive. Like, there's, there's no... If we were to fight a gold league, we wouldn't get by. We wouldn't even be able to kill one hero team or any titan teams. You know, we can send our whole guild on, on just one Titan team and, and lose 30 times. But that's the way the game is. It's a pay to win game. But we're managing. We're sticking in silver. We kind of get uh, thrown back and forth between silver and bronze. We're either the top of bronze or we're the bottom of silver. Gatekeepers, as somebody once said. Now you can imagine. If I was to slow this down through this entire thing, this video would take two hours to get to this point. And we've already run for quite some time. But we'll continue to run through this on Valkyrie speed for the sake of time. <clears throat> this video probably won't get a lot of views, but those who do watch will get some information. So if you watch this far, um, <clears throat> try to watch some of the shorter videos. There's some uh, totem videos, totem videos that are are quite helpful as far as getting uh, new players the totems they want to get, and explains a bit on how to get your totems. I'm thinking it's this one, but it didn't show any of those ice faces in the picture there. There's one. So maybe it is this one. If it is, the next one will have two of those. Oh. I can't find it anymore. I tried to find it on the run-through on my, sh on my uh, smaller account as well. And I couldn't find it again. But it took me so long to get past it. And it wasn't a boss. Maybe it was a boss. Maybe. It, I think the next one here is a boss. Yeah. Maybe it's this one. Yes, it is. It's this one. Because Helios is there, and Helios always killed my Yasmin. This time she didn't. My Yasmin's too powerful. See, once you got Yasmin on this boss, it's just bang, she just takes it out. 
And Kark is just a beast as well as far as damage goes. So awesome. Let's go back and open some chests. Nice, nice, nice. Nothing really too spectacular as far as items go. And uh, the one thing that disappoints me in this game is when you're seeing the advertisements, you go on YouTube, you go on Facebook, and you're seeing the advertisements for Hero Wars, they're advertising these mini games. And the only time you ever get to play these mini games is in these chests. And the only chests that contain them have a question mark here on the chest. So this is not a mini game. They, and there's very, very few of them. And that kind of ticks me off. Like, that's kind of why I started playing this game. I like those kind of mini games. I wanted it. I thought that's what it was. Uh, I'm looking back here to see if I can find one. There. That's a mini game right there. Uh, but it has, it was a, it's kind of has a question mark on it when it's not checked and there's another one see they they're very few there's another one and another so in the in the first sections of the game you get to play the mini games there's there's two there in that one but and there's two they don't uh there's the event this, this i think it's a spring event But they advertise these mini games and then they don't give you any. It's kind of a it's false advertisement is what it is. Uh, I know a lot of people that started playing this game just because they thought it was, you know, just playing those mini games. That's all that Hero Wars was to them. Only to find out that it's uh completely different I think they should add like a little side section for mini games where you can spend energy or spend some other kind of thing and, and play mini games not gems hero wars if you're listening we don't want to pay to play them we want to just be able to go in and maybe win some items or something and play these mini games that you advertise so frequently. Now the big reputation that Hero Wars has gained itself is they're very cheap. People don't like that and they're quitting the game very frequently. I've lost a lot of guild, man, guild members uh, because they're just done with how cheap these, this company is as far as items go and things. Uh, the gameplay, it takes far too long, far too long to get uh, to level up your heroes to max. Like, there's 50-something heroes in the game, and to get a team of five to max, it's going to take a year. For a free player, at least a year, maybe more. Uh, I had some video I saw say, if you want to level all your characters up to max, all your heroes... It's going to take you at least three years. And I know this guy pays. So. Um, I, I don't believe that you're going to make it three years. With a free account. So do not expect to jump into this game. And actually. Get a hero team up in, in a month or two. Or even weeks. Oh, it's still going to let me play. But I'm going to stop the video there. We'll collect our, uh, our gems. See what we got. I spent, what, 300 now? So I got 1,300 and a bit coin or gems. 
Not a bad haul. I mean, if you <clears throat> if you do what I did and you wait a couple of months and then power through your campaigns, you'd be able to collect yourself a bunch of gems. And if you saved up before that, you know, you can put them towards your totems for your titans, which is very important in this game. Your t titan totems are huge as far as guild war goes. Uh, your titans are going to determine whether you win or lose a guild war. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough and a little bit of information. All right, y'all take care. Have a great day. And bye for now.